words, please. Thank you. Wonderful. Welcome. I'm Michelle, as you've probably gathered by now. Um, I am the director of the Free From Food Awards. Uh, it's fantastic to see you all here. This is year eight. We get bigger and bigger every year. Um, last year, I th we thought we'd filled up the Royal College more or less entirely. We seem to have filled it up even more today, so that's wonderful. The awards get bigger and bigger. Um, we had more entries this year. We had from more companies. And what's really exciting about it is that so many of the companies actually are new companies. So the sector is expanding. And you'll realize how good a lot of it is when we get to actually awarding the award. Beforehand, you'll see up here our Twitter hashtag. Alex is up in the, in the balcony tweeting live. Wave, Alex. There he is. Um, if anyone would like to do some discreet retweeting during the course of the evening, that would be fantastic. But if you do, please, will you use the Twitter hashtag, which is FFFA, obviously Free From Food Awards, 15. Okay, right, now then, first thing I have to say, of course, is thank yous, because running awards is an expensive operation, as you can imagine, and we do need financial support, and we get fi fantastic financial support from our sponsors. Here they all are up on the board. Um, they will be coming up, you'll see them all individually, because they'll be coming up to present their individual categories. So it's really fantastic to have them. This year we have a lot of long-term sponsors, which is really lovely. People who've been with us for years and years and years, and who obviously believe in the wards and stay with us. But we also have a lot of new people. So, you know, that also shows that we're growing. Thank you also, of course, to Anthony, who's lurking down there in the corner, but who will come up on the stage in a moment who will be presenting the certificates. Anthony has been such a supporter, right from when we started eight years ago in his, the upstairs of his restaurant in Notting Hill. And we're really grateful to him for sticking with us and supporting the awards, and of course, supporting the Free From Eating Out Awards as well. So that's fabulous. Thank you to our judges. We have a roster now of about 70 judges, many of whom are here tonight come from all kinds of different walks of life. So we have nutritionists, we have dietitians, we have food writers, we have manufacturers, we have celiacs, we have allergy sufferers, and we have lay people to benchmark the foods against, in quotes, normal foods. They are a very argumentative bunch. They come from all different walks of the food life, and they all wish to have their say. But it's great, it's very exciting, it's very interesting. Um, and we hope that you think that they do a really good job. Thank you to our beer supporters. I'm sure I've seen several of you with, of you with bottles of beer from the beer bar down the end. All our wonderful gluten-free beers, a kind of feature of the Free From Food Awards ever since we started has been our gluten-free beer bar. So do go and enjoy them, but I do warn you that gluten-free beer is quite powerful. Thank you, of course, the Royal College. This is the third year that we've been here at the Royal College of Physicians. Fantastic venue, fabulous building, as you know. One of the, the, one, the only grade one listed building, post-war listed building in central London, I believe, designed by Dennis Lasden. The building is fantastic, but the staff are fabulous. They look after us so well. And particularly Chef Dean, who puts up with endless demands from us about free from, and then does our wonderful winner's buffet at the end. So thank you, Royal College. And, of course, thank you to our own staff, without whom nothing would happen. This year we had two Catherines. We had Catherine with a K, who is over there on the right stirring her bowl, and we had Catherine with a C, who is ticking off some of the many, many entries. Thank you to both of them who ran the kitchens for the judging. But, of course, the most important person of all is Cressida on the right there. You can't see very much of her there, but you can see her down here on my left. Because as you all know, anyone who's been involved in the, the awards knows that basically Cressida runs them. I'm just stuck up here, you know, on the evening to do the, the chatty bit. But everything is organized by Cressida and she does an amazing job. This year we were delighted that we managed to raise just over five grand for our charity of the year. So that was very exciting. Food Cycle do exactly what they say they do. They take food that isn't wanted and they recreate it into delicious meals for people who actually need it. Do we have Mary here? Mary, do we have you here? No, we were hoping we were going to have somebody from Food Cycle here, but anyhow. So we were really chuffed. We, the, the five grand came from 10% of all your entry fees, plus match donations from many of you. So thank you to those of you who donated. 
Two bits of news now before we go on. One is to say, you'll remember that last year I announced that we were going to venture into food service. Well, we did. Uh, we launched the Free From Eating Out Awards uh, last year. Anthony is patron of the Free From Eating Out Awards as well, which is really far more appropriate because, he, after all, he's a restaurateur. So what he's doing here on the Free From Food Awards, I don't really know. But anyhow, um, we launched them. They were much more successful than we had expected. We had some fantastic entries, incredible dedication and imagination shown by some of the entrants. And we are looking forward to them again this year. The presentation was at Food Matters Live last November, which was a great success. The 2015 awards open on June the 8th. Um, we will again be having the presentation at Food Matters Live. Thank you very much. Food Matters Live, where are you, Brownie? Wherever you are, over there. Um, so that is going to be really exciting. Anybody who wants to know anything about it, ask me later or get in touch. We just have a few, we only have four categories left unsponsored, if you're interested. Really exciting, all our sponsors from our first, first year, including Sodexo, our headline sponsors, have come back to us for the second year, so that's been tremendous. And one other, our now exciting bit of news for next year, we have been asked many times if we would think about doing an accreditation scheme of some kind or other. And we have finally decided to bite the bullet, and we are going to launch Free From Assured. It's in very early stages at the moment, literally. We, all we have is possibly a logo. We don't even know if this will be the logo. Uh, we don't yet have a website. We soon will have. We will be working on this, I'm delighted to say, with Muriel Simmons, who many of you will know as a past CEO of, of Allergy UK. And Muriel was the one who actually launched the Allergy UK seal of approval. So there's not a lot she doesn't know about assurance schemes. So it's a very exciting prospect. We hope to be launching it again at Food Matters Live. In fact, we're going to have a really busy Food Matters Live this year because on day one, we have the presentation of the Free From Eating Out Awards. On day two, we have the launch of Free From Assured. And on day three, we're going to have a cook-off between some of the winners of last year's Free From Eating Out Awards. So it's going to be a really exciting time. If anybody wants to know more about this, please let, you know, talk to me later. 2016, coming up, we will have lots of exciting new things. Um, I'm going to ask Chris to just tell you about 2016 very briefly, and then we'll get back to 2015 and what you will come here for. Okay, Chris? Hello, good evening. Um, we were very delighted at how well some of this year's new categories did, uh, lots of entries. Uh, for Down the Pub and Bar, which was very popular, um, Tea Time, which was huge, as usual, Desserts and Puddings, and the Bars category. It was brilliant to have a category just for bars because there are a huge amount of entries and they're a really useful product in Free From. So they'll all be staying for the uh, 2016 awards. The confectionery category was popular, but mainly with uh, chocolate makers, so if we could have a few more sweeties next year, that would be fantastic. We love the chocolate. We want more chocolate, but we also like a few sweets. And splitting the ready meals into vegetarian and the meat and fish was a very good idea, and we had good entry for both of those, um, as you will see when the winners are announced. And we are going to keep the traditional staples of breakfast, the breads, store cupboards, and pasta and pizza are still very, very popular categories. And the children's category uh, did very well. <laughs> we had a fantastic... <laughs> I think she's showing us she doesn't like something. <laughs> Our panel of seven to 16 year olds um, dug in with a will and uh, had no hesitation in letting us know what they didn't like as much as what they did like. The raw uh, and superfoods category was very well populated this year, but we finally feel that it's time to split them. So raw food will have a category all of its own and superfoods will go into a new category which will cover not only superfoods but also sports supplements. Um, we've been dithering about this for a long time, but we are, we've finally been persuaded and realised that uh, many people who use sports supplements, such as protein shakes, either need uh, or, or would like to follow a free-from diet, um, but the vast majority of such supplements are either um, soy or whey or gluten-based. We're also thinking, but this will probably be for 2017, um, rather than next year, of a FODMAPS category. 
um, but don't feel quite yet that there are enough uh, low FODMAPs foods around to justify one for, for this next year. Quite excitingly, we're changing the way that we run both the Nut Free category and the Innovation Award. There are many, many excellent products entered into the Nut Free and Innovation categories. Um, Sorry, there are, there are many excellent nut-free and innovative products that are entered into other categories, but for some reason they don't enter them into the nut-free or innovation categories. So we're going to keep both categories, um, but we will, and both will be open for sponsorship, but the categories will become judges' pick. So as we go through the awards, the judges will recommend and we will move categories into um, either whichever one is, is suitable. And then we'll have a special judging session to judge all of those products against each other. So, always around a very exciting uh, 2016, but back to 2015. Yeah, big one, come on. Excellent, right, back to 2015. Don't forget that hashtag, will you? Now, so we're, we're, what you're all here for, the gong time. Um, a few bits of kind of housekeeping first. Sadly, in awards, not everyone can win. I wish they could, because we've had so many good products, and we always have, but particularly this year, we really didn't have a bad product. You know, that's pretty amazing in awards. But we can't actually give it to everybody. Yeah. I'm being nagged again. See, she runs the awards, so I'm being nagged again. What she was saying is that those of you who don't actually win, but who do get commended and highly commended, we have all your certificates here. So before you go, please check in at the front desk and they will have your certificates so you can take them home with you rather than us having to send them to you later. So what we will do is up on the screen will come the commended and the highly commended. I'm not going to read out any of the, the, um, the comments, the judges' comments, but they will all be on the website, so which will be, by the time you get home, the website will be up so you can read all about them there. When we get to the winners, um, we will, oh, and incidentally, they go up on the screen in alphabetical order. So don't, there's no order of merit here, it's alphabetical order only. The winners will come up on the screen and we will have the comments from the judges on the winners. Winners, wherever you are, wherever you're going to be, when you're announced, please can you come up to the, to the stage as quickly as you can. Anthony will be there to present you with your, with your category certificate along with the sponsor of your category. Um, if you can stand in the front of the stage, otherwise you'll be totally blinded by the lights and Giles won't be able to photograph you. But So just go to Anthony wherever he is. Um, once we have finished, winners, please will you not all rush for the buffet. I know the temptation is enormous, but please don't, because we would like a winner's photograph of you um, just here in front of the stage. So can you all gather in front of the stage? The, the, um, the wall will go up and the buffet will be revealed, but you're not allowed to rush for it. Okay, um, oh yes, and the one other thing, winners, we, as you know, we have a little video booth outside. We would love to do some interviews with some of you. If you don't want to be interviewed, that's fine, don't worry about it, but for those of you who would like to say a few words, it's outside. When um, you come to get your certificate, Sue will actually give you, Sue over there with the sponsors, will give you a list of timings uh, to go and be interviewed so that you don't have to waste your evening hanging around in the queue, okay? Right, let's roll. We will start, as always, uh, with breakfast. <coughs> Seems a good place to start. Um, breakfast sponsored this year as last year by Tesco's. It's a big category because we combine into breakfast not just the cereals, but also the milks and the yogurts that you would have with the cereals, and also the baked goods that you would have after you'd had your milks and your cereals. So, commended. We had some lovely commended products, uh, bagels as you can see, porridges, loads of porridges this year, gluten-free porridges, lots of coconuts, and quite a lot of paleo foods. So as you can see there, bagels, Dr. Gay porridge, yogurt, more yogurt, and paleo. Highly commended, we had a coconut jam. This was a new one on the judges. It was a really interesting product. Has anybody ever met coconut jam? Apart from the people who made it, of course. Yes, yes. Really, really interesting product. More excellent porridges. Must have had lots of Scots entering this year. And a very good, um, lovely Koyo yogurt. 
And we had two winners for the breakfast category. Because it's such a big category, you need to cover all areas. We had one from the bakery and one from the cereal category. And the winners were the Genius Power Chocolat and Primal Joy Foods Maple and Peanut Crunch. Okay. Okay. We got our winners. Lovely. Nikki Clues from Tesco's is going to present the prize. Off you go. Do we have Genius? Oh, and, and Genius? Hello, Genius, where are you? Oh, this is Genius, hello, Genius. <laughs> genius comes up in every form, doesn't it? <laughs> but we don't have Primal Joy, I think, no? Do we have Primal Joy? Primal Joy is stuck on a motorway. We'll do them at the end if they arrive, okay? All right. So, appropriately, the next category is bread and is sponsored by Genius. Hope you're still around, Genius. Where is he? You're also doing a sponsor job? Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, right. We've got, oh, fine. Fine. I'm getting really confused here. and We're only on t second category. Horrors. Right. Bread. Bread is a, one of our staple products, one of our staple categories. It's a wonderful, it's just amazing what has happened to bread over the eight years that we've been doing the awards. In the first years, a few really horrible bricks was all we got. Now, we get a whole table full of breads which would be able to hold their own in any supermarket, in any shop. So it's been really good. Fantastic what has happened to bread. Commended in the breads, we had lots of rolls, beefy rolls, beefy soft white loaf, more frozen white rolls, more just gluten-free good white bread, as you can see, all these breads, and one rather exotic um, yeast-free flat bread. Highly commended. We had more beef-free, well done beef-free, and purebred whole bread sandwich rolls, and Yudi's lovely tiger bloomer. So nice to see a bloomer. We've never had one of those before, I don't think. Again, we had two winners in bread because we were spanning both ends. So it came from the very basic kind of supermarket daily bread to the raw, more exotic breads. So our two winners were Smart Eats and Treats Rosemary and Olive Oil for Cacchetti and the Tesco Free From Fresh Seeded Bread, which actually was a winner last year, as you will remember. <laughs> so genius, we, ha we have Ros Cucheri from Genius, who is going to be presenting the award. And Tesco, don't mind, Tesco. This is rather, rather a reversal of roles here, isn't it, all of a sudden? <laughs> there we go. Hang on a sec. They do first. Lovely. Come on. Yes. Lovely. Don't go away, Ros. You're not finished with yet. <laughs> Lovely. Now, we're moving on to store cupboard. Um, this was sponsored by Sainsbury's this year and is a very big and very interesting category. Um, it's so varied because we have so many different things in a store cupboard, as you can imagine. So the poor old judges could be tasting anything from vinegars through to instant breads. It's, it's a bit of a mind blower for their taste buds. Anyhow, it was a very full category, very interesting entries. Commended, we had the Orgren no egg natural rake replacer, which is just a fantastic product. It's been around for a very long time, but it really has stood the taste of time. A soya sauce, so you can see their taste buds have already been blown, haven't they? And the wonderful foraging fox beetroot ketchup. Highly commended, we had a, a sauce from Alumi, a couscous, which of course wasn't a couscous, but actually did taste just like one, uh, some excellent breadcrumbs from Polsetta, and an amazing loaf, which is actually a bread mix, which you make in a minute in a microwave, which is an extraordinary product. It tastes a bit cakey, but I mean, you know, think that you can make it from a mix in a minute in a microwave. Very impressive. Again, we had two winners here because it's such a big category and spans such a broad level. We had the Frias 
puff pastry, which extraordinarily enough is both gluten-free and dairy-free. And we had the quinola mother grain express quinoa with split peas. <laughs> Philip, Matthew Carr from Integrated Food Projects is... Uh, where have we got winners? Freya? Yes, Freya! Monica, where are you? Tom Holliday from Sainsbury's. Is it Tom? Yeah. It is Tom. Yeah. Tom Holliday from Sainsbury's is going to present. And Quinella, we knew, I know we've got Quinella. I was talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> well... <laughs> Okay. Woo -hoo. Shush, shush. Now, now, children, silence, please. Pasta and pizza. Again, another of our very staple pro categories which we've had for many years. This year, sponsored by one of our new sponsors, uh, Integrated Food Projects. Really exciting that we've had sponsors this year who are not just food companies. It used to always be just food companies. But we've had three sponsors this year coming from outside food. Integrated Food Projects actually build factories, so that's really good. We have um, Philip Chatfield is going to be presenting for us. So we had, in the commended, uh, some very classic lasagna seats, uh, the plain gnocchi, and also the Garofolo Cesarecce. I'm sure I spelled that wrong. It sounds like a dragon to me. I think it sounds absolutely wonderful. Highly commended, we had um, some pizza bases, and we had some pizzas. The excellent Venice Bakery pizza bases, which were actually were winner of the Innovation Award last year. And um, we also had some really interesting wide rice noodles. They were extraordinary. They were really, really thick, delicious. Two winners, again, in pasta and pizza. One very traditional, one quite innovatory. We had Rizopia's organic brown rice spaghetti, which has been around for a long time and was a winner two or three years ago, and the extraordinary Explore Asian edamame and mung bean fettuccine. So. <laughs> we have a feeling that neither of them turned up. We have a feeling that neither of them have turned up yet. Do we? Philip Chatfield and Anthony are going to chat here for a minute or two while we ensure... Yeah, go on. I suspect both are now stuck on a, on a motorway somewhere because both were are certainly due to come. No? No? No. Right. Moving on in that case. The raw foods and superfoods. The raw foods and superfoods remain as one category for this year, even though, as Cresta said, next year we will be splitting them. And they were sponsored for us this year by Tiana, um, Fairtrade Organics, who actually make the most wonderful coconut oil themselves. We had interesting entries here. Lots of raw chocolate. Surprise, surprise. And very nice, too, it was. So we had salted caramel chocolates, of course. And we had after-dinner mint chocolates. And we had an instant hot chocolate, so all delicious. The highly commended was a raw cashew nut pesto, which was re excellent, really excellent, a lovely, lovely product, and a very unusual product as well. But the winner in the raw and the superfoods was actually a, a shake, the marvelous superfoods super protein. Um, this was really interesting because, in fact, the, the judges decided to be very hardcore when they were judging this. Uh, normally, you would have any of these protein shakes, in, uh, you'd use them in yogurts or in smoothies or in juices, at least. And they decided, no, they were going to have them in water. Um, and actually, even in water, this performed very well. It was really tasty. It was lovely, as you can say, lovely nutty flavor, sweet and creamy. So it was really good. Right, now, do we have marvelous superfood protein? We do. We have you somewhere. Where are you? Yay! And we have, we have Tanya Harris from Tiana who will present. Excellent. Okay. 
Oops. <laughs> right. Moving on to food to go and for venting. This is, this is an, a very exciting category. It's, it's really, I think, where a lot of free from food is going, and there's been so much happening in food to go. It's one of the biggest growing categories in the mainstream food market, and I think also in, in free from. So it's a really interesting category, sponsored for us this year by the Food and Drink Innovation Network, which is rather appropriate because it's a very innovatory category. Commended here, Quinola again. You did well, guys, didn't you? Um, and also the wonderful 10-acre crisps. I know it seems why we're we having crisps in a free from uh, award, but you would be amazed how many crisps actually include gluten, dairy in the cheese and onion, but dairy quite often not just in the cheese and onion. So actually finding a genuinely free from crisp is really important. Highly commended, we had the coconut chips, which are just lovely, very, very simple. Stick them in your pocket, delicious products. And we had Karkli Karkli which, to try and explain to you, is a wonderful snack. It looks a bit like a dried centipede, would we say? But it tastes, it's a, a spicy Indian snack and it's just delicious. Winner, however, in the Food to Go was a somewhat more traditional product. It was Vokes Free From Traditional Pork Pie. Really classic pork pie. And as those people who like pork pies know, a pork pie has to be perfect. You can't just have any old pork pie. It has to be completely right. And this really was. So congratulations to Vokes. Um, have we got Jeffrey? Is Jeffrey here? Where is he? Jeffrey Hanna? We have this, we do. Jeffrey? Where is he? Jeffrey, where are you? Yes, come on up. Where's Jeffrey? We've lost Jeffrey. Never mind, we've lost our sponsor. There he is, yay! Right. Okay. On to Down the Pub, which was one of our big and very successful categories, Down the Pub. It was a great way of combining two things that people are most interested in. Shush, thank you, whoever that was. Shush, down there. Um, our beer, our gluten-free beer category, which is always one of the most popular and most exciting categories in the awards, and all those wonderful snacks that you're going to have to make you drink more beer, which will make you want more snacks, which will make you want more beer. You know, no-brainer, isn't it? So we combined the two, which was a lovely way to go. Uh, the, pro the category was sponsored by Udi's, as it was last year, which was lovely. Now, we had some excellent snacks. We had some excellent beers, as you can see. The Dara Dam, we had the, um, one of the Greens beers were commended, and lots of lovely snacks, delicious almonds, uh, excellent pretzels, which you would never have known were, were gluten-free pretzels, and some of the Vigusto cheeses. You'll remember the Vigusto one a few years ago. Uh, with their incredible dairy-free and indeed everything else in the world free cheeses. Uh, so this was the one to go on your snack with your drink. In the highly commended, more excellent lagers, the Celia Lager, the Das Beer, uh, and Das were a winner. We've had both have been winners in the past. Um, Greens Gluten-Free India Pale Ale, which was the winner last year. So lots of really, really good beers. And we also had the Freed Foods Gluten-Free Crisp Breads, which are a new product Deliciously crisp, very, very tasty. Just what you want with that beer. Of course, we had two winners in this category. We would have to. One beer and one uh, snack to go with your beer. So the winners were Stringer's Beer Outlook Ale, which I see, Amber Ale, which I've seen several people drinking already, and the Tesco Free From Party Snacks, which were excellent. Such a good idea. Five little different or four little different snacks, a meat one, a fishy one, and a vegetarian one. All you have to do is pop them in the oven, serve them, nobody would know that they were free from. Such an easy and wonderful thing to have. So, congratulations guys. Do we have Stringers? And I know we have Tesco's. And we have Udi's, Holly Wales from Udi's will present. There's Stringers.
Lovely. And Tesco's? Yes. You're all confusing me very much now because all kinds of different people are appearing who I don't recognize. Welcome, Tesco's. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Holly. Yeah, lovely. Okay, now on to the two ready meals categories, uh, which, as Cressida said, were really successful this year. We were so glad we divided them into meaty and fishy. The meaty and fishy ones were sponsored by Genon Laboratories, who are one, again, of our long-term supporters and one of our long-term sponsors. Um, they've been with us for four or five years. Well, Mike, where are you? Four or five years, is it? I can't remember. But anyhow, lovely to have you back. Um, we had a jolly good entry for this as well. Commended, we had Kirsty's Gluten and Dairy-Free Beef Lasagna. We had Rule of Crumb from Northern Ireland, their chicken Kiev. Uh, we had a couple of chicken dishes, another one from Sainsbury's. Two more Tesco products, um, pulled ham and cheddar crisp bake, and some sausages. Highly commended was Afia Samosas, her wheat and gluten-free. Really lovely, and the first time any of us had come across a wheat and gluten-free samosa. Where are you going to get one normally? So, a great treat. Hodgepodge's delicious plowman's pie. You remember Hodgepodge won a couple of years ago with those wonderful little eggs. And Vokes again. Uh, their steak and ale pie, also highly commended. But the winner, surprisingly, was not a meat. We would have expected it to have been a meat. It was a fish. It was Tesco's smoked haddock fish cakes with a melty middle which the judges just loved. So, Mike Birch from Genon will present, and um, which Tesco are we having this time? <laughs> You're the frozen girl, we've got the frozen Tesco coming. Well done, Frozen Tesco. <laughs> right, on to the veggie ready meals, um, which were sponsored for us by Goodness Direct. Second year, the Goodness have sponsored, and I'm delighted to say, for the first year ever, Goodness have managed to come for this evening, so they will be presenting their award. Um, we did have a good entry. We only had one commended here, which was the excellent Clive's Pies Mushroom and Leek Pie, but we had lots of highly commended. So Amy's Kitchen's Veggie Burgers, Lots of lovely quiches and flans, Christine's pudding savory tart, uh, the mushroom blue cheese quiche, and the smart eaten treats vegan red onion and courgette quiche, which was extraordinary because it is, of course, being vegan, gluten free, and dairy free, and egg free. Um, another quinola mother grain, and indeed another Tesco product. So a lot of very good, highly commended. However, the winner uh, of the veggie ready meals was Amy's Kitchen. Yes, Naomi Hopkins from Goodness is going to present. Where are, come, on, come on, Amy's Kitchen, where are you? All that whooping. We got, there she is, there she is. Uh, it was what, what the judges were really impressed about, the fact that this was a frozen, a frozen product, and yet the vegetables were so fresh and so crispy and crunchy, and the texture on the, on the pasta was so good. So, well done. Okay, moving on to the peanut and tree nut foods, or the, rather the, the foods for peanut and tree nut allergic people. This was sponsored for us by Wellabies, who make delicious snacks and crisps. Wellabies are another new sponsor, which is lovely to have them. Uh, I think we have Sue Warren over there too. Yes, we have, excellent to present. Um, we had commended, we had another Orgren product. Orgren have been in the business of free from foods for so long, which is wonderful. And they produce such reliable products. So it's nice to have another Orgren product in there. And sweet mandarin sauces, which did very well last year as well. And of course, lovely podology, the delicious uh, desserts, which are not only nut free, but also gluten free and dairy free and soya free and egg free, which is quite an achievement. However, the winner this year in this, this category was, in fact, as last year, an Illumi product. Illumis uh, are so popular with nut allergics because the wonderful thing about them is that they know they have all been manufactured in a nut-free environment. 
They are incredibly clearly labeled. They know exactly where they stand. They're ambient products. So I, the number of people I know with, with nut allergies who actually travel with Illumi products in their handbags so that they know wherever they are, whenever they are, they, all they have to do is pop it into a microwave and they can have a nice, they can have a nice meal. So well done to Illumi. Um, we have uh, Sue coming to present. Illumi, do we have you? We don't know. Do we have an Illumi? We don't know whether we... We do have an Illumi. Yay! Excellent. Excellent. You want to move forward a bit, a bit ladies? Can you go forward to the edge? That's it. Right, on to the children's food. This is always one of, as you know, one of our most popular categories, and it's sponsored for us again this year by Denim and Deere. They spent, sponsored it for us last year. Lovely to have them back, another of our very, very long-term supporters. It's always incredibly popular, the, the children's food category. It's run for us by Christine Bailey, um, who is here somewhere rather, I know. Uh, she's right there. Um, and Christine runs it in her home in Reading, and she gets together this great group of about 10 to 12, 7 to 17-year-olds, roughly, um, all of whom have dietary problems of some kind or other. And they are just the most amazing judges. Well, you saw a picture earlier of, of was that Charlotte, I think it was, who didn't at all hesitate to tell us when she didn't like a product. Um, but they're really, really good now. They commended a lot of products, but they're very discerning because they, one of the products they commended was the Rizopia Fantasia pasta. And they said it's really great. It had won a couple of years ago, but it's won before. It doesn't need to win again. It's fine. It's now a kind of standard product. We want something else. And what was interesting about it is that actually, although they do love the sweet things, they love the chocolates and all the rest of it, what they're really interested in is the savory products. So, although we had several chocolates in the commended, and we had the interesting veggie cheese dough balls too, which they thought were rather fun, highly commended was a chicken bite. The product which won this category last year, Georgia's Choice. And would you believe the winner that they all chose unanimously was Georgia's Choice Chicken Grills. So, Emma Kirkham from Delamere will present. Come on, Georgia's Choice, where are you? You're right there, lovely. <laughs> well done. Excellent. We actually have, we have some of our, our children's judges here also. So, um, hi guys. Nice feet. Right to the front. Leap up on the stage for half a second and wave to everybody. Come on. Quick, quick. This is Simeon and Isaac, who have been judged last year, didn't you? Yeah? And this year, and no doubt next year. Yeah? Okay, now on to tea time. Uh, sponsored very appropriately for us by Mrs. Crimbles. Um, a huge category, I have to say, it was very big. The judges went away clutching their stomachs and swearing they weren't going to eat for a week. But it was really very delicious. So in the commended, we had a cupcake. Of course we had a cupcake. We had the Genius Gluten-Free Cupcake. We had a chocolate and olive oil cake, which was lovely, from Marnie Searchwell. And we also had some delicious hot cross buns from Sainsbury's. Highly commended. Another of the Marnie Searchwell cakes, it, well, this was a lovely Jamaican j Christmas cake, really, really rich. Uh, a cherry bakewell, which of course always goes down well. And then two lovely biscuits, the food of Athenry, um, those toasts, which I just thought were divine, and some lovely, sophisticated Earl Grey shortbread biscuits. Very good. The winners, uh, we had two winners, very big category, we had two winners, were donuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, they were donuts. You got that one. And also the free from bakehouses cookies. The donuts are very interesting because for those of us who are not that keen on donuts, we'll say they're just donuts. But for gluten-free people who like donuts, this was seventh heaven. 
Catherine with a C uh, was a, has been gluten free for many years. When she saw them coming in, she said, "Oh my God, donuts, donuts! No, give me donuts! No, no!" They, and so it was really exciting. So well done, donut people. Um, right. Claire Ramsey from Mrs. Crimble's will present. Do we have donuts are coming up on the coming up on the left? Donuts coming up on the left. Do we have free from bakehouse here? We do have free there, and there's free from bakehouse. Right. Come on, donuts. And free from Bakehouse. Yep. Well done, guys. All right. Another, another delicious category for the judges to judge. Um, another hard on the waistline category. And this year we had loads and loads of ice creams for this one. Well, no, sorry, not ice creams, ice desserts. Um, this was sponsored for us by Roma Labs, one of another of our new sponsors. Roma Labs do allergen testing. So as I say, it's really interesting that other people are coming in apart from food companies. Okay, commended. We had Asker's lovely mango sorbet. We had the Jollyum passion fruit and chocolate ice cream alternative and the Tesco well, it's tiramisu, really, which was, um, but a, a free from tiramisu, which was splendid. We had lots of highly commended. Uh, the wonderful Booja Booja uh, maple and pecan ice, which is based on cashew nuts. Coconut Collaborative um, had their, their mango snow cut frozen yogurt. A Glamour Puds, a treacle sponge, yummy treacle sponge from Glamour Puds. And then two more Tesco products the Melt in the Middle Belgian chocolate puddings and the sweet party selection, which are the sweet version of the savory ones, which won earlier. So well done to all of you. Two winners again uh, in this, this category. Coconut Collaborative with their mango and passion fruit coconut ice, oh, sorry, yogurt, and the wonderful Glamour Puds Bakewell Tart, which is both gluten-free and dairy-free, and if you like Bakewell Tart, is just to die for. Now, we, uh, we don't have um, Peggy from Glamour Puts here tonight, I know, sadly. But we do have Steve from Coconut Collaborative. And we have Sarah Lindsay. And we have Dario De Deli from Roma Labs to, gosh, it's going to squeeze in there, guys. Move forward. Many of you will recognize Steve from as Steve of Bessenton Drury, who was a winner last year and indeed the year before, weren't they? Yeah. Yep. Right. Well done, guys. Right, another of our new categories, the confectionery category. This was sponsored for us by Free From Heaven. If none of you have met Free From Heaven, it's a fantastic new series of magazines, all with, with gluten-free and free from recipes, really wonderful recipes. So you know, I'm sure you will see it soon. It's on the high street now. We had interesting um, entries here, but as Cresta said, an awful lot of chocolate. Um, but some classical chocolate and some more modern chocolate, if you like. So we had Sweet Virtue Superfood Truffles. We had a move free orange and chocolate bar, and we had Kinnerton, uh, their dairy-free luxury chocolate bar and highly commended one of those amazing Booja Booja truffles. I'm sure we've all had Booja Booja truffles in our time and they are always delicious. We had two winners in this area again, and again from two ends of the spectrum. We had the Doisy Dam Maca Vanilla and Cacao Nibs, which is a really modern, sophisticated chocolate. And way down the other end, we had the Kinnerton Santa Claus. Kinnerton have done such a fantastic job over the years for free from. You know, they were, way, they were in there with a nut-free facility long before all of the rest of us even thought about free from. So it's really tremendous to see them um, up here getting prizes still for their products. Now, unfortunately, neither Doisy Dam nor Kinnerton are here tonight. So we have asked the two Catherines, Catherine with a K and Catherine with a C, to have a nice sweet treat and come and collect 
the, the um, category samples, and Sarah Lindsay, from, is free from heaven, is going to do the presentation. Yes, yeah. yeah, do them both together. There you go, go guys. Everybody forward. And a nice hand for them all. Okay, now this is the last of our kind of main categories and one of our new categories, our bars, which was, was a very successful category. And very excitingly, we had Holland and Barrett to sp sponsor it. As you're probably all aware, Holland and Barrett are now launching into Free From. In fact, it's really wonderful that they're here tonight at all because tomorrow is the big launch day for the new Holland and Barrett Free From range. And it's, it's so good, we're so delighted that, that they are now moving in because you know they're leaders in the health food trade and the health food trade, which is where Free From started, has been lagging slightly behind. So this is really good news. Um, within the bar category, we had lots of lots and lots of fruity bars. Lots, very sustaining. We had some cereal bars as well, but lots of fruity ones, some paleo bars as well. And of course, a Bakewell tart bar. A bit, the Bakewell tart bar was a bit like, a, you know, it's a Marmite question. Either you adored it or you couldn't stand it, or you thought it wasn't a Bakewell tart, so why are they putting it in a bar? Anyhow, highly commended. Uh, we got more bars and Get Fruity Again appeared in the highly commended. And in fact, it was the fruity bars that did particularly well. And the winner was another Get Fruity bar. <laughs> The Moist Berry Mix Bar. And Emma Cockrell from Holland and Barrett is going to present. And where are you, Get Fruity? <laughs> you can't cry yet. You can cry later. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, chaps. Two, two categories to go until we get to the Marble Mo moment. You can all see Marble Mo sitting here in front or waiting for, for the glory moment. Two categories to go, two of our most interesting ones, our Innovation Award. The group on the left seemed to be being rather noisy again. Hmm. Right, the Innovation Award. Um, sponsored for us again this year by Food Matters Live, which is lovely. Um, we did have some interesting, uh, we, if we had done our judges pick, there would have been even more ca products in here. But as it was, we still had some very interesting ones. Not obviously innovatory, but actually they were. So the Farabella pasta orecchietti, I'm sure I've pronounced that wrong and somebody will tell me, a fresh pasta in an interesting new shape. That is great, first time we've had one. Mash Direct vegetable burgers. Well, okay, so vegetable burgers, but these were fresh vegetable burgers with fresh vegetables, fresh spring greens. Very unusual, nobody had ever tried those before, so it was really good, and the, the vegetables came out crisp and lovely. And then that loaf I mentioned before, the sweet goodness so loaf, so loaf, um, which is a mix which you can cook in a minute in a microwave, you know, how good is that? In the highly commended, we had Booja Booja truffles. Now, they, what's innovative about those? They were chilled. Usually truffles are either long life and hard as a rock, or they're very fresh, creamy truffles. This is the first time we'd had a free from truffle, which actually was closer to a fresh truffle, so it was chilled and soft in the middle, and delicious. We had a pastry. Now, again, what, so what's new about that? Well, actually, a ready to roll free from pastry, which actually came with the bakewell paper all there, ready just to roll it out. How convenient is that? Amazing. Keep it in your freezer. Tremendous. And finally, a, a pancake mix in a bottle. Uh, lovely pancake mix, all in a bottle. Just keep in your store cupboard. Great thing to have from pure bread. So a very unusual idea and very convenient. How good for kids' teas. Wonderful. However, the winner in this category, you'll say it to begin with again. So what's so innovative about that? But it is. It was the Kirsty's gluten-free and dairy-free <laughs> beef lasagna. Why, why so innovative? Yeah, come on.
Brownie Mansell Lewis from Food Matters Live will collect. Come on, Kirsties, where are you? Where is she? <laughs> Never mind. You will do, Kirsty. That's fine. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Never mind. We'll make do with you. Why? Why was this so innovatory? Well, it, because it's dairy-free. Gluten-free pastas have been around forever. Gluten-free lasagnas, rather, have been around forever. But of course, you could always get away with the fact that you put lollops of, of lovely cheddar cheese on the top. So frankly, whatever it tasted like, it was going to taste great because of the cheese. But this time, Kirsty, no cheese. And what was amazing was that everybody ate this pa the lasagna and said, oh, yes, very nice lasagna. Yes, yeah, very good, very tasty. Nobody noticed that there wasn't any cheese. So it was a dairy-free and gluten-free lasagna, which was actually delicious. So well done to them. Worthy winners. Now, this was a new innovation this year, um, a Retailer of the Year Award, which was suggested to us by one of the retailers. So we thought, right, let's go for it. Um, the, the way we did it was to actually just award points for the products entered. So every retailer got one point for a shortlisted product, they got two points for a commended, they got three points for a highly commended, and they got four points for a winner. So then we did some quick maths at the end, and I think you will probably have all have done the quick maths as well, and you will have worked out who came top of the tree. And it is kind of rather ironic that on today, which has to have been a really bad day at the office for Tesco's, um, <laughs> that they are the winners here of the Retailer of the Year Award. Sally Atwell is from Oakland, is, is presenting, and here's Nikki Clues from Tesco's. More, more Tesco's, come on, more Tesco's. I don't know if any of you were listening to the, uh, to the Today program this morning, but um, Chris Haskins, who was the, used to be the boss of Northern Foods, was actually talking about Tesco's and the results this morning and was saying that the one thing that you had to do in retail was innovate. If you didn't innovate, if you didn't keep innovating, you were dead in the water. And what's so interesting about the Tesco range, free from range, is that's exactly what they've done. They've kept on innovating. Whatever's happened to the rest of the company, in free from, they have kept on innovating, as you've seen with all the products that have come up. So well done to Tesco's. OK. Now, we're getting to the Marble Mo moment. Who is going to get the trophy for next year? Who is going to get Marble Mo to take home with him? You can see him here in the front with his bow. I know he seems a slightly inappropriate trophy for a food award, but he was given to us in our very first year, and so we've kept him ever since, and now we love him dearly. He comes, comes back to us for about a month each year, and we're always glad to see him, and we're always very happy to send him out again. So who is going to take him home this year? Well, we had four possibles. After, after a lot of discussion on our final day of judging, we come up with a kind of short list out of all the winners. We look at all the winners of all the other products. They're all tasted, all the other categories. They're all tasted again. And we got it down to four. So I shall go through them in alphabetical order. This is not order of merit. This is alphabetical order. The first one was Amy's Kitchen, those Chinese noodles and veggies. We were so impressed by the fact that the, the vegetables were delicious, they were fresh, they were crunchy. The noodles, the texture was excellent. It was a frozen meal, huge convenience. All the free from, ticked all the free from boxes. So would it be Amy's? Possibly. Next one, those amazing edamame and mung bean fettuccine. Really innovatory, fantastic free from product. There have been so, some other bean-based pastas over the last couple of years. Some of them have been better than others. This was really good, tasted great. Again, ticks all the free from boxes, lovely color, exciting product. Number three was the Genius Pau au Chocolat. Amazing to make a Pau au Chocolat which was both dairy and gluten-free. If you think of the number of uh, any of you who are not free from, 
you go down the high street, how many perfectly disgusting pearl chocolates have you had which have been filled with gluten and dairy and they haven't been able to make something edible. And yet this has got no dairy and got no gluten and they're really good. They're really delicious. So what a manufacturing feat is that? So that's possible. Number four, that traditional pork pie. Very difficult to make. You know, to make a good pork pie anyhow is hard. The pastry is difficult. You've got to get the pork just right. It has to have the right amount of jelly. Pork pie fanciers are very, very fussy. If it doesn't have the right amount of jelly, they're not interested. If the pork isn't the right texture, if it doesn't have the right flavor, right amount of spicing, not interested. So to do all that and to make it gluten and dairy free, quite an achievement. So which do you think it's going to be? We have two possibilities in the pasta line, the Amy's Kitchen or those edamame beans, both of which will be very worthy winners. We have those genius pain au chocolat, amazing manufacturing feat to do it. Or we have the traditional pork pie. Again, fantastic to actually manage to make it and to be a really perfect pork pie. Per pork pie tasters that we had amongst our judges said, yes, that's it. That is the perfect pork pie. Which is it going to be? OK. It was tradition that won out. It was the folks. <laughs> a bit more guys because otherwise yes you're going to be blasted out by the uh... amazing right you will of course all get the chance to taste the pork pie when the, when the wall goes up and you get to the buffet. But I'm sure you'll all agree that it was really good. Now, before we go there, Anthony is going to just say a couple of words, and then, woo, woo, you can talk in a minute. Shush, people, shush. Anthony's going to say a couple of words. Then I want the winners to come up to be photographed, and at that point, the wall will go up and the buffet will be revealed. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much. Listen, I'm, I'm, it's all been said, hasn't it? You want to get on with the buffet. So I'm going to just say thank you very much for coming. I've, my eighth great year, Michelle's backed me to the hills all the way through, and I've supported her all the way through as well. So a little mutual admiration society going on here. But, uh, I mean, it's been amazing, hasn't it? And we started with just a few, a handful of people came to my restaurant. 280 odd people here today. It's quite extraordinary. I can easily see this category overtaking organic within the near future because it's such a major growth industry. So I just want to say well done for everyone who entered, well done for everyone who got commended, special well done for all the winners, and good luck for next year. Let's have a lot more innovation and a lot more sweeties, I think it was asked for, wasn't it? Thank you very much. Cheers.